Did it, we ready? Yeah, go for it. Did it feel like you were on the, on the field for 41 minutes the other day? Mm, not really because they, they ran the ball so much so the clock continued to run, but um, it, didn't, it didn't feel like an extremely long game. You ever been in a game where the time of possession was that disparate? No, no, definitely not. Um, but you kind of you kind of got to be prepared for that because the way our offense goes, they can be in and off the field really quick and, you know, with any kind of situation. So uh, we got to be prepared for that in, in any game. Mikey said the other day, and Coach just said a few minutes ago, that the last four possessions they had 59 total yards, and all it was was you guys just kind of rising to the moment, stepping up, making plays. Did you sense that there was a change late in the third quarter when you guys started to, when things started changing the field, you were, you were holding them a little more? Did you sense from your guys that they were a little bit different? Yeah, well, it was, we just came together. I know me and uh, me, Dre and Des got together and we got everybody up and we, we all said that, you know, we can correct all of our wrongs in this game, but we just nut up in that situation and, and, uh, and you know, hold them to no points or, or field goals and just give our offense a chance because, you know, we all know the uh, fireworks they can do. So it was just about just being a man in that situation and not, not going down easy if we were going to go down. What can you apply from that? Second half of the fourth quarter to say the first quarter and, and all four quarters mm -hmm. as you move forward. Um, I think it just goes goes to just guys doing their job and, and wanting to do it well. And we just got to be we got to be together. We got to be play to play together better. And it's just like you know sometimes we'll have the DBs doing really good and the D line messes up, or the linebackers do it good and the DBs mess up. We just got to be we got to be working good together at the same time. And not uh, and cutting out those uh, mental errors. Does it help to look at the film and say, okay, this is what we accomplished when all things came together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps. It helps because definitely if the game would have went the other way, we would have had a lot of more things to uh, fix. But um, it's after getting the win, you can't be for self, man. I mean, I know Chiz is, uh, you know, very disappointed in our performance, but uh, we won the game. There, there are still a lot of things to fix, but do you? What do you take with you more, that or the fact that you guys were able to overcome and play well, and you played well at the end as opposed mm -hmm. to the beginning? Oh, I think the biggest thing is just us overcoming the deficit and, and playing well in the end and, and fighting. Um, I know uh, Coach just said that he was very proud of us for fighting until the very end, and I, and I think that's something um, that we can definitely take on to, to the next go, next game because we don't know if we're going to be in that situation again, but at least we know we got a group of guys that's going to fight to the end. I know that Coach Chizik and, and, and Coach Fedora say a lot that double yards don't really matter. Is it sort of a mindset where as long as you give the offense a chance to win, you guys have done your job because the offense is so capable and they proved that the other night? Um, it's not even that. It's, I think it's just us being being together in, in a sense. It's, it's not – we do, yeah, we want to give them the ball, but you know, we don't want to have to want to outscore everybody. Um, but when we get in those situations, that's just what we have to do. And it just – it can be worded different, but it's just – is we don't we can we have confidence in ourselves to, to stop the run, but um you know it's it, it, it all gets jumbled up together when you have an offense that's that spectacular and can do all these different kind of things. You've already had to deal with Nick Chubb mm -hmm. and James Conner this season. Mm -hmm. Now you get uh, Dalvin, like Cook. Dalvin Cook. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you know from facing those other two guys that can help you to try to defend this guy or? They're just that good, and they're all different. And you have, you know, and it's just a problem you have to solve. Um, I mean, that just speaks for the the, the talent that we're playing against. Uh, you know, we don't have any just just random average kind of running backs. We're playing against the the country's best each and every week. So um, he brings a lot to the table with physicality in the run game. Um, but it'll be another situation where, um, like Georgia, where they try to get the run game going early, just like any team would. Um, but he, I think he and Chubb have the better comparison. Do you kind of expect, because of the statistics that you, you know, people have been able to run the ball on you, that teams are gonna try to run it right at you? Yeah, early? yeah, yeah. People are gonna definitely try us, and I mean, if, if I was a coach and you know in that situation, I would definitely try it as well. But I think that's just the chance for our defense to step up and make plays and prove to ourselves and to the country that we can, you know, get a job done. Coach Fedora said a few minutes ago that one of the differences when you guys made that change late in the game and started playing better was you. And when your leadership, I know he's been looking for leadership on defense. Did you kind of sense something when you were out, when you missed the James Madison game, maybe how much more important you were to that group, not just as a player, but also as a leader? 
Yeah, yeah. I, and I didn't. It wasn't so glaring before, but after I missed the James Madison game, I, I definitely saw that. And so now, more, even more than before, I try to be as vocal as I can to get everybody on the same page. Um, what, before every series. Did you realize it during the JMU game, or was it something that was communicated to you afterward, and then you realized it then, or what? Um, I would say it was during because I, I could just after the um, at halftime, I went into the locker room with the team, and I could just tell there was nobody was really saying a lot. It was kind of like a little, a lot, a lot of straight faces, you know. Um, and I just realized, you know, if I was in that situation, I was playing, I would be saying something right then. And um, and I just realized there was a little void there. And you know, everybody saw the energy on the sideline. So um, I think at halftime is pretty much when I saw it. And uh, like I said, now more than ever, I try to be as, more, as vocal as I can. Coach said that he wants Andre Smith to be that kind of vocal guy because he's the, mm -hmm. the guy who brings it all together, the leader out there. Um, can you, from that experience, maybe teach him how to yeah, be more vocal? Yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, it just comes with having confidence and having everybody on your side because. Um, even though he's a playmaker, he's still young, so he might not have the confidence to, you know, say something to me or Dez or some of the older guys and, you know, want to take control of the group, but he's going to have to do that. And, um, you know, we're expecting him to do that along with us, not not against us in any kind of sort. Now, so, yeah. you know, I played the way you all did, uh, you know, that last couple of series, and mm -hmm. you all come back and you stop them, and then the offense come back, you all, you know, won the game and, you know, ran the last minute there. What does it uh, say for the team? What does it do for the team when you, when you accomplish something like that? Um, it just shows how much we how much we've been through. We we all stayed together and nobody ever blinked the eye when adversity hit. I uh, know it got hairy there for a second. I think we were down like thirteen with like five minutes to go or something like that. So, um, it just shows like I said that we got a group of guys that are fight for each other, and that's that whole thing. I know Coach Scott said it a lot. That whole thing, I got your back. We we put action to that. It's not just words and you know, quotes and stuff on T-shirts. We uh, we had to have their back in that situation, and they had ours. What do you see from uh, the Florida State quarterback, uh, a guy that you know you'll be going against up this week? Um, I haven't seen much on the film because I I, I I try to stay week to week. I don't look ahead too much, but um, I know he's an athletic guy. They're they're gonna have speed. It's Florida State. They're gonna have speed in in every position. So um, that's we're always gonna have to have that in mind. But besides that. Um, I think I want to focus more on the run game and Dalvin Cook before I look to the quarterback. Is, is the protocol not to speak at halftime when you're not playing? Uh, no, it's, that's not. I wouldn't say that's the protocol, but I know, I know I would want to hear from somebody that's been in the game and doing stuff. If I was the guy in the game, so I wouldn't want somebody who's not playing to just you know say what we're doing wrong and all this kind of stuff because I'm not on the field with them. Um, you know, and that's just something I got to shake out of as a leader as well because. You know, I have influence and people want to hear what I got to say and they listen to me. So um, that's just something I'm better that I got to do. Let me give you two more short ones, man. Um, as, far, as far as Coach Scott, mm -hmm. I, I asked Coach Fedora if he's had to kind of encourage him more because of all y'all had to deal with on the defensive line. Have you noticed anything different with all the stuff he's had to kind of do to piece you guys together? Um, no, not really. He he's a He's a very consistent guy. I know. His whole thing for the past couple of weeks is just pushing the message, who are you, who are you, who are you? And um, you know, I know the coaches have said it and stuff like that, but he was just challenging us to make a name for ourselves. And that's how I took it. I'm not sure if that's what he meant, but that's how I took it. Um, because you know, we were la almost last in the country and, and run defense and all this other kind of stuff. And we, we need to find our identity. So that's why they were pushing that message, who are you? And the last one, do you look at it as the offense had to bail you guys out? Or both sides of the ball can't um, I would say it's even because, like I said, we're, we're all on the same team here, so I don't think they had to bail us out. But we definitely didn't do them any justice by, you know, giving up as many points as we did. Now, as you tweeted after the game, you know, thanks to the fans who stayed all four quarters mm -hmm. and got Harry. Coach Fedora said the fans gave you the edge mm -hmm. late. Um, are you seeing, I know you know that people left. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing, though, a, a However slow a change in the culture where people are embracing Carolina football and not giving up on you guys and have your back. It is definitely it's definitely getting better. It is definitely getting better. And like I said, I wanted to pre I wanted to say uh, thank you to all the people that did stuff because I'm a kind of guy that feeds off that kind of stuff, especially in a, a home games and away games. I always feed off the crowd, and um, you know it just gives us that little edge that we need at home sometimes uh, to have people there with us and you know believing in us, you know not going home because we're down and stuff like that. But. Um, 
like I said, I already said thank you to all the fans that stayed. We really, really appreciate that. And uh, they deserve to see that. Though. So you notice people leaving? Yeah, I mean, I probably should have my focus on the game, but you can just tell. You look up and you see the stairs are full of people going the other way. So, I mean, you kind of see that stuff with you. I mean, you want to focus on the game, but it's kind of blaring. It's kind of hard to not see. A lot of fans, especially on that side of the stadium, say it's 90 degrees in the sun, and that's mm -hmm. kind of why they left. you have any sympathy for them? You guys are wearing 20 pounds of equipment. <laughs> you guys are playing. Oh, maybe, maybe, would, would, you like to, would you like to see a little more investment, maybe? Oh, you know, I mean, people, I mean, individuals can be individuals, but, I mean, we're on the field and equipment and all that kind of stuff, so we're hot, so I know they're hot. And I've been in those seats before as a recruit. I think it was the Idaho game my uh, senior year in high school. It was extremely hot. I was sweating just standing there. So I know, I know what they mean by it being hot. So um, it's whatever. Is, is it, since you're, since you're willing to talk about it, is it something where there are other programs, and I don't want to single this one out because there are a lot that are, that are more like this than not, mm -hmm. where the fans are a part of the program? Is that what you kind of, you saw that from the ones that stayed, but mm -hmm. maybe you want to see a greater I mean, number be, of that? It would be nice to see it more often, but I mean, we can't, as players, we can't really focus on that because, I mean, they want to see a good game, so we can't go out there and give up, you know, 300 yards, 400 yards rushing. That's not things that they want to see. So I think it'll be, as we put, as we start to perform better, they'll start to stick around more. Now, as uh, Ryan, Last one for Nuts. Gotta get Mitch Ryan and Mitch were just named receiver and ACC offensive back of the week. As a Stop defender, how did you watch that? Last drive, I know they're your teammates. You want them uh -huh. to win, but you're a, you're a defender. I mean, how did you view that last series? Um, I didn't look really. Look, I know they did a lot of pass game stuff. I didn't. I was really watching um, pitch defensive line, so I was just watching kind of what they were doing and the mistakes they made and how I probably would have played it. So um, I'm just glad that they took advantage of the, the opportunities they would did. Um, four. Uh, they had four four down conversions or something like that. I think that's just them two guys being on the same page and just being working well together. Um, I was definitely a fan for the last three minutes or however the last they, the last they had the ball. I'm pretty sure I was cheering louder than anybody in that stadium. All right. Thanks, Nas. Right. Thanks, Nas. Appreciate it. Thank you don't like your answer.